there is nothing that we are bonding over as a show because everybody has their own likes and dislikes i myself have always felt there's a dirt there's nothing in this space that's happening on television at the moment you know in the ott space where we are actually why do we shy away from telling our stories of course there's a gullak there's a panchayat there's all these you know stories about rural india or small town india and a lot of that has been explored but why don't we explore urban india that was the second thing that i think people commented on that wow it's about time it's about time that we had a show about our strata of society for me at least uh, i know you know much more uh, now than then because we were in our 20s when we did aisha and there was a sort of a, an excitable you know nervous sort of an energy around the whole film in a way because it was an ensemble yeah. film and again again it was a film that was trying something very new very fresh mm. you know and nobody knew if it was going to work or not because we spent some five days shooting that song and it never it was not even in the film we have never heard each other on set because we are constantly around screaming children <laughs> Hello everybody welcome to News 18 Shosha I am here with Cyrus Sahokar and Ira Dubey talking about the second season of Potluck a very nice happy show that they've been doing season 1 came out on Sony Live thank you so much for joining me today let's talk about the new season uh, but for that uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what made you guys take on this project uh, like Cyrus was just saying it's easy viewing um uh, not much uh, you know not very intense on emotions and stuff like that so tell me uh, what as actors attracted you to this project um well um i think maybe sai already mentioned this but yes i think you know when we when we were approached for it we um we boni we we sort of we were in the middle of covid right um uh, i think the very practical first thing was that we all wanted to work so i think that we when we came together and we discovered that there was this really interesting bunch of creators ex mtv people who had a refreshing sort of sensibility to make this slice of life show i think all of us were like okay what is this and then when we got together and we discovered the team in the actors the cast the everything i think there was something there you know i think all of us felt that there was something there and like sai mentioned that everyone was tired boni of the heavy violent you know underbelly dark stuff that people were consuming making watching so i think it was very refreshing i think it was very refreshing to uh, for all of us to find a show that was trying to tell a life, slice of life kind of story and to tell it hopefully well you know um and for me as an actor i feel akanksha why it was interesting and exciting in a way was um one was yes i was reuniting with cyrus and rajshri which was absolutely uncanny in a way uh after 12 years uh to sit in a room with two people i've worked with in a film which was a very big success and a very big hit so i think that was exciting to sort of reunite with sai and rajshri uh and also as an actor i feel um i'm always interested in doing something you know people used to say why are you playing this mother of three and you know why would you do something like this and all that wo zamana chala gaya hai i think i find it very interesting to represent or to play a modern woman how does a woman today manage three children and family and life and husband and work and in-laws and all that stuff how does she do it uh, you know the definition of that has changed so much uh, so to me to try and understand what this woman is 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 a it was a very interesting um and challenging thing as a representation of what a woman actually is today you know uh, i mean there was nothing so there's not there's no rocket science to it um this is what a woman is today and should be today woman a woman is a multitask i was telling another journalist one half an hour ago because suddenly in the middle of the question he started using his phone and all that so i took it told him straight i said you're not very good at this multitasking we are you know <laughs> you are struggling over then fumbling through it you know but we are very good multitaskers yes. so women have that durga shakti and women can do many things so for me it was very interesting to portray a woman who was part of this manic family the family is also again i think sai will talk more about this that every family is dysfunctional every family is weird and quirky you know so to to be a part of that and to explore that side being opposite cyrus who is a very who is a mad cap completely who is one of the most brilliant intelligent funny men i know on and off camera was wonderful you know it was i how could i how could i say no to that it was a very nice atmosphere i mean i think she spot on about the fact that we all just wanted to work go out shoot something the script felt right but the uh, the cast was also really a bunch of wonderful human beings uh it's amazing that even from the time we met to now we all kept in touch we all meet at least a couple of times a month uh it was inclusive 
in fact my biggest takeaway from when i watched uh, season 1 was that there is a really yeah. casual energy in this cast you know like people are just walking around like it's home people are slouching usually always seeing people on camera even when it's at home they are extra dressed or they well like they sit properly they don't show the paunch nothing you know um <laughs> and it deals and it yeah and it and it deals with families man and 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 i don't know any family I mean, the degrees keep uh, sort of shifting but every family is dysfunctional full of people who think they are right and the others are wrong uh and it's all this simmering right that madness and it never changes it, you know you know if you look a little deeper and this season is done that it's looking a little deeper into jo humne pehle dekha tha uh, with right. people life changing uh, as 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 ira said her now they are young couple they both need to earn they got kids they got expenses so she goes to work he can work from home because he has a tech startup but he decides to also uh, you know uh, be this maverick dad with his kids and be extra entertaining but starts realizing oh it's not all about just being cool and cute and innovative but they are like you can have friction with your child his daughter and him have some dramas he is dealing with work and he finds suddenly even at some point he finds his children irritating you know uh, and they're not listening so he's trying to find what would work for him and um, i find that it's like a growing up this season's a little bit of the growing up of every character at some level or the other even with the mom after spending a large part of her life bringing up her kids working a very demanding and you know quite eccentric husband now she wants to do some, something small for herself and finds it offensive that people are against it or people even have an opinion yeah right, you know right. like ira was saying uh, how uh, this is not one of those intense uh, shows like we mostly see on ott series while i was watching uh, it it felt like it didn't feel like i was watching a show it felt like i was just watching a another family day to day life wow they go out thing right, and, and it's so right. relatable and it's so relatable the problems the uh, conversations uh, everybody's quirks you know is something you actually see in real life uh, tell me what what was the feedback that you guys got after the season 1 came out what what were your friends family members or even people on social media say Oh yeah, I was taken aback by the, by the by the feedback. I think it also was very interesting when it launched. It launched during lockdown. People were home with families, uh, and you know, spending more time than they ever have, which brought about their own dramas. And also, I got a lot of stuff that you know, my biggest problem at home is that there is nothing that we are bonding over as a show because everybody has their own likes and dislikes. Someone wants serial killer stuff. Someone likes this stuff. so they kind of agreed on watching pot pot luck and it flew by you know and uh, and it helped address the, the the dramas in everybody's home also in a very easy way you know it, that's the magic about dramedies or comedies uh, if, if you remove the genre they actually quite tragic and intense even if you look at any famous one even friends and all it's just that the the layer is uh, is comedy so you can get to deal or react very differently from otherwise in life and it's kind of refreshing to see that yeah that was such a beautiful articulate answer i don't know what to say uh, <laughs> thank you ira but you got you met people no who came, came up to you and talked to you about pot luck me yeah of course a lot, lot of, of people a lot of people saw the show a lot of people loved the show a lot of people my own family it's a first of all it's a very bingeable show i think that was one big yeah. feedback that we got i myself though i'm in it and a lot of my friends watch the whole season back to back you know that in itself says a lot if you can binge a show that means that something something is right about the show so i think that mm. was one very big feedback that came that it was you know it was very easy to watch it you know um so that was one two is that everybody was looking for something light i have a myself as a producer creator now hopefully in the coming years i myself have always felt that cyrus has at least done mind the malotras which is kind of in this sort of family realistic space but i myself have always felt there's a dirt there's nothing in this space that's happening on television at the moment you know in the ott space where we are actually why do we shy away from telling our stories of course there's a gullak there's a panchayat there's all these you know stories about rural india or small town india and a lot of that has been explored but why don't we explore urban india what is it that is really you know preventing us from going there you know we've seen it in films like we were talking about earlier in another interview zoya and farhan and all do it quite very well uh, we've seen it in films but we haven't seen it in shows at all you know so i think that was the second thing that i think people commented on that wow it's about time it's about time that we had a show about our strata of society 
and 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 our problems and our you know our experiences and our relationships that actually is realistic and relatable so i think that was also another mm-hmm. feedback i got and the comedy and the chemistry of the actors the cast was another big feedback that we got um which was which was one of the i think one of the strengths of the show is that the cast you know and the two of you coming together you know you did aisha together so was there always already a comfort zone uh, playing couples uh, you know uh, playing a couple in this show i think that we found that comfort zone uh, i think rajri oja has one strange habit that she always makes us work on the first day that we meet and finish copious amounts of work i, I always just told somebody so, that in the last interview yeah, just told somebody like bro what's up with that because see the first day is the trickiest day the unit finding itself the director finding how to communicate the actors are like okay this is the set this is vibe <laughs> when i met uh, ira for the first time for aisha also i remember i shot some six seven scenes with you in one day right yeah 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 uh, i was like man i just came here you know i landed at night in the morning i'm here doing all this we started potluck season 1 also like that and then season 2 also like that and so i think for me at least uh, i know ira much more uh, now than then uh, and okay. you know we're, we're much closer friends we talk so much more about other things apart from just work yeah. or our emotional lives or thoughts uh, because this show gave us that time to spend with each other and hang and and re- really take criticism also from each other really listen to each other so maza aata hai usme kya hua tha we were in a hurry and it was a we were shooting so many different locations it was a it was a different kind of age also so i find yeah. this is yeah. what really been a more of a bonding than aisha yeah absolutely i couldn't agree more um and i think that there was like sai said because we were in our 20s when we did aisha and there was a sort of a, an excitable you know nervous sort of an energy around the whole film in a way because it was an ensemble yeah. film and again again it was a film that was trying something very new very fresh mm. you know and nobody knew if it was going to work or not so everyone had relationships with everybody else there was that group dynamic also but everyone was kind of so caught up in their own thing and plus there was the time constraint and the way we shot it you know um, yeah. i think the only time we may have actually had some fun was during that shooting of that song sham yes. which we yes. were also yeah. disappointed i was so fully disappointed because we spent some five days shooting that song and it never it was not even in the film <laughs> i was like ye kya ho raha hai itna khoobsurat gana to hai yaar What's it was in Rishikesh. What's in that song? I mean, I still get people on Instagram constantly. I am sure you do. They keep yeah, sending yeah, versions of that bloody song. Renditions right? of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, and so, I think that was the last few days of shoot. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think also. that was the only time we actually got to have a little bit of fun. But in Potluck, we had right. lots more fun. But he's absolutely yeah. right. Rajshri would throw us off the deep end. Me and Sai. she felt that we had some comfort not only with each other but with her and that expectation and that pressure was so much that chalo yaar you know uh, and when i hello maine kaha bhai yeah. batti chali gayi hai ye ho raha hai wo ho raha hai handle it so yeah and oh then God, you have I to mean... understand please understand boni that we have never heard each other on set because we are constantly around screaming children <laughs> yeah that's the other thing I'm like write it and tell me what you're saying because we are working with our kids in the show and these kids are. It's a very are, difficult are, thing, huh? You try it. It is madness because you're like, <laughs> what? What did you say? A lot of our scenes when someone is talking, the other person is like. Hmm? You know. Oh my god! <laughs> that said, as much as we make fun of them, and Cyrus made a lot of fun of them, but they're very awesome, and I salute those they're kids. Awesome, man. all and those kids. The... Yeah. You know they they, they are really... so sweet and so amazing and so they are so loving as as kids and yeah, I think that they, they just like that's good. We very, very lucky, lucky to have such beautiful personalities like at a young age also such a lovely bunch of people. You know in the show you make it look like it was a cake walk and I thought अरे ये तो it must have been very easy to shoot people you know uh, not and uh, you know a very it's a slice of life film so very relatable and stuff not much to stress about but you're saying that. Rajesh is you of the deal pen from on the very first day and but i genuinely had... find slice of life is very tricky because you're actually sitting and doing nothing okay you know if there's a murder scene you're like are ye lash hai so you know okay this is a vibe <laughs> uh, but slice of life sometimes even as an actor you're like okay uh, you know should i add a little the to refrain from doing too much is this is always a spot because you're like I'm, nothing's happening and it's life you know and not so over bored or over dramatic Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Where what the tone is? Totally right. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, I that I totally agree with. It's it's very tricky, in fact. You know, when you're playing mm. realistic, I've had conversations with some actor friends who criticize me. They're like, you know, why would you do something that's so close to real life, and you're not really pushing yourself, you're not really doing this, which I totally disagree with. I find mm-hmm. that the more realistic it is, the more convincing. Not only do you have to make it, but even in terms of what Cyrus is saying, how do you know it's not, too much is too much, too little is too little? You know what is the story that is actually? Because at the end of the day, it is you're you're creating a show, you're telling a story. It's on thirty five mm, right? Okay, now it's on your phone, but I mean it's a, it's made in that format, right? So it's not like you're sitting in somebody's living room and talking. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, at the same time, at the same time, we have such a bunch of talented actors, lucky, lucky, lucky again, who who bring that energy and that sur and that you know that spontaneity to this kind of material. So we kind of work off each other, and acting is reacting. No, at the end of the day, you have a script, but acting at the end of the day, it's always what Sai and I create on set is only what Sai and I can create on set. You know, and that's the fun part, and that's what people see, and that's what people connect with. Right. You know, towards the end of season one, I thought when you uh, when the truth comes out uh, of the father uh, that he's been pretending so far i had expected that there will be some sort of like a big showdown or something but nothing of that uh, sort happens and there is a very nice subtle way in which the whole family kind of navigates those that situation um, you know it, it was unexpected for me was it unexpected for you it was it was unexpected for me because i think that that was also the first time the first scene i shot with uh, mr jatin sial Where I go out in season one and just ask him, like, should we go back into the house? You know, chilling is the only line there. Then, yeah. अच्छा लगा यार. I was thinking कि मतलब, you know, it just surpasses. You know how in family is. It's like man, I, I mean, we are stuck in many ways with each other. We have this relationship and it is life and all this thing has happened. And then you have these soft moments where just like let's just not talk about it. Come, let's just forget about what's what is. Happening in my ego and your ego, and we'll we'll meet in a comfortable place where we are beyond all that for just today, and then we'll go back to fighting tomorrow. But for now, let's <laughs> eat dinner together, you know. And uh, you know that's what you kind of remember also. So I liked it in right. a way. I was also thinking there'll be a monologue, you know. <laughs> Prepared myself. Some fireworks, <laughs> some long monologue. Yeah, some lip shaking. <laughs> You know, if you were a Hindi TV show, maybe it would have been. Ah, कुछ तो नहीं था. You know, but नहीं हुआ. Right, right. Uh, so, uh, Cyrus, I also wanted to ask you. Uh, if you, you know, slice of life stuff, like you said, Mind of Malhotra, then this one. Is this like a comfort zone that you work in, or do you want to get into more intense stuff? Oh no, I totally want Great to get question. into more intense, in, intense stuff. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I just don't get offered that instant, intense stuff, and uh, and when I do get offered some of it, then it's the other pole, which is like serial killer, हड्डियाँ काट के उबाल रहा है ना, I'm like, oh my god, bro, तो बीच में नहीं है कोई disagreeable या थोड़ा और या तो ये है या ये है, of course, man, you, it's absolutely, uh, you know, you're dying to go out there and and do stuff. So recently. I I started saying that okay, man. I gotta like choose projects. I can't keep doing the same kind of family dramas because you know I can't be a guy with twins one more time. So <laughs> I did a I did a you know I did a show recently which was such an off character uh, and it'll be releasing soon. It's called Django, where I play a character which is completely different from all these people uh, and yet not a serial killer. <laughs> and and so I'm hoping uh, that people also get me to do like I find that in the West it's very interesting. Now it's also happening here. Such beautiful casting has happened for some shows in India, uh, where even comedians are cast as different people or people seen in this one way are sort of you know doing other stuff. Yes. But I am waiting for it. I am waiting to sort of uh, and then a lot of offers come. You don't get the role also. You don't you audition and you doesn't go right and all that also happens. Uh, it's not like yes. everything you do you get. Uh, but I am dying for it to happen. Right. If somebody is doing anything interesting, please. It's not like I'm saying, "Nee, ye main to was family drama karta hu." That's not that's not true at all. <laughs> Out of the ones that I do, I like these the most. That that yeah. is something for sure in terms of cast, in terms of the world. I, I find them nice. At least they're relatable and human in their madness and lunacy. Uh, Ira, you were mentioning something about working as a creator producer. Are there projects that you are working on? Uh, what what can you elaborate on that? Yes, there are. 
uh, there's two features and a and a web series that I'm developing and pitching and working on, and I'm very seriously getting into producing and in and in slowly but surely. Um, uh, there is a play which maybe I can mention uh, because none of them are you know have gone ahead. I mean, got green lit yet, so I can't tell you what they are. Uh, but there's a play which maybe I can mention because I want Cyrus to be in it, and I'm saying it again loudly. Oh yay! Uh, uh, it's a Shakespeare play, King Lear, with Nasiruddin Shah, which which we're probably going to do next year um, oh. in 24. So that's I'm producing a play, but I'm also working on these three other feature films and and web series. I'm getting right. into this in a big way, uh, in a oh. in a yeah yeah right. But uh, will you also be acting in them, or you're just going to be behind the scenes? You know, that's a really good question. It's something that I've been asking myself also. And um, it really depends on the project. I think that intention has to be very clear, Boni, at the beginning. You know, is this for me to act in it? Or do I really fit in this? Or is it just because I want to tell this story? And so some of them, yes, I will be. And some of them, I really won't be in. And I think that's also part of figuring out how you want to be as a creative producer, you know. And so that's a that's a sort of a work in progress. A lot of female actors are getting into production these days. Um, do you think the industry is encouraging that it's the right environment, the right time to get into it? I think we have to wait and watch. The people you're talking about are the Anushka Sharma's, Priyanka Chopra's, and all these people who have a lot of resources at their at their at Pooja Bhatt, for example, who's a friend uh, who I admire greatly. Um, she also had the backing of her father, and you know you have resources. Here I'm very much doing it on on my own, uh, and we'll see. The um, the question you're answering ans- asking is going to be answered as I go along. Let's see how difficult or easy it is for someone like me to get into production. Uh, you know, um, but I'm finding it very exciting and I'm finding that the doors, yes, are opening and I think it's the right time. I think that, uh, again, it's not because my raison d'etre is not that I'm saying I have to make only the kind of parts that I want to act in or I want to make only stories that are women driven. No, it's I will find my voice as a creator, which is nothing to do with only being a feminist. It's telling stories which I think need to be told, you know, um, that's all. So I think, um, yeah. As of now, we are excited about Potluck Season 2, which is going to come out soon on Sony Live. So, great chatting with the two of you, Cyrus and Meera. Thank you. I think very excited. I'm also looking forward to watching the drama unfold in the next season. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you. All the thank best. you very much. <laughs> all the best with all the work that you're doing and hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye, Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye. Bonnie. Thank you. Bye.